I thought it would be good to share some of the ways that we winterize our hives here in Agricultural Zone 5. It is something that is really important to do for your hives to keep them warm uh, and to try to keep them from getting too much moisture building up in the hive across the winter time. And I thought it would be helpful to show you what we do and have done in the past. So one of the things that we do for our hives in the winter is we close down the entrances and we make the entrances smaller. This uh, helps with air movement into the hive and makes it so that the bees aren't having to work as hard to keep the hive warm. Another thing that we have is screen bottom boards for our hive. And we cover our screen bottom boards using a piece of plastic and this slides in and out. We're not gonna leave it in place because it is cold. And uh, this helps the hive to stay warm by blocking air movement into the hive. Another obvious thing that you can see on our hives is we have it wrapped. This is wrapped using tar paper. Tar paper has worked well for us in the past. It is a very inexpensive material to obtain. It can be reused year over year if it's taken care of. And it is a pretty hardy material to use to protect the hive from excess wind. And the black will absorb sunlight on those sunny, cold days and help to warm the hive up. On the top of the hive, we use a quilt box. And a quilt box is uh, something the bees cannot get into. It's got a screen across the bottom. And the intent of the quilt box is to allow for adequate ventilation uh, to prevent moisture from building up in the hive. Moisture can be very dangerous for the bees. So in the quilt box, we've got about three to four inches of cedar wood chips sitting on top of that screen. And that makes something of a blanket and it allows for moisture to get absorbed out. It allows for ventilation to um, help pull some of that moisture away, but it protects the bees um, and helps to keep them warm as well. The last thing you may notice about our hives is our hives are still quite tall. Uh, we live in Ag Zone 5, and so in the winter time we get down to like minus 18 Fahrenheit, which I think is around minus 28 Celsius. So our intent is to leave our bees with adequate food supplies for the winter. I know some beekeepers are able to condense their beehives down to something like two boxes, um, but for us we leave our bees something like 100 to 120 pounds of honey for the winter, and that takes space. So we want to make sure that they have plenty of food and plenty of um, uh, plenty of space and everything for the size of this hive. And last year we left them about 120 pounds. They ate every single bit of that honey. So for us, it makes sense to leave our beehives just a little bit taller than what you might have seen in the past. So there you have it. That's uh, how we winterize our hives and we hope that that's been helpful for you. Um, some of these things may not be necessary for you based on where you live in the world. For us, it is just because of the cold. Um, we want to make sure our hives have the best possible chance for survival. Um, and we always are looking for interesting tips and information from other beekeepers. We always follow other beekeepers on Instagram and uh, other forms of social media because we definitely love to learn how other folks are doing it. So if you have other tips that you do, especially if you're in Ag Zone 5 or lower, let us know what you do. We'd love to hear about it.